Assalamualaikum. My name is Nor Atira Binti Azmi. Hi, my name is Nusha Kira Binti Ghazali. Did you know what is therapeutic regression? Okay, let me tell you. Therapeutic regression is a process that utilizes regression, leisure, and other activity-based intervention to address the assessed needs of individuals with illness or disabling conditions. In the case study, I will be interviewing my grandmother who has a disability. This is due to the fact that my grandmother belongs to, the, to a disabled group of senior adults. As we know, the elderly are disabled since the activities are limited uh, owing to age-related problems that prevent them from doing heavy work. So, I'm going to ask my grandmother some questions regarding her own leisure activities. Let's go. Assalamualaikum, Tok. Apa khabar? Assalamualaikum. Apa baik? Lama Tok Rahmah Binti Rahman. Umur Tok 35 tahun. Tinggal kat Sungai Rangi, Kampung, Sungai Rangi. Tu masa lapang. Ah, uh, saya baca Quran lagi. Hmm. Uh, apa yang ni dia dia ke rumah, dalam rumah. Ah, uh, ada nak pergi ke sini mandi. Tak tinggi, buat dia sini ya. Ah, uh, ambil ubat tu um, berminggu ke sebulan ke? Okey, uh, dua bulan dia bukan sekali ya. Oh. Ya habis ya, habis. habis ya. Nak ah, basi kat tu boleh lagi. Kamu tu tak tak boleh ah. Hmm. Kamu sampai basi kamu ni. Naik kat kat tu pergi kedai ke apa ke. Hmm. Okey. Ah itu saja soalan daripada saya. Terima kasih tu. Sama-sama. Disability is a condition that causes a person to be concerned direct disabled. A person will have difficulty in performing daily tasks and for normal individual is not complicated. The origin of the disability is usually some disorder on the physical and mental. One of them is heroin impairment. For those who have this problem, it may it difficult for them to communicate and understand other people conversations. Therefore, we will get to know a person with a hairy impairment and what recreational activity she does as therapy. Miss Farida is 46 years old. She is a housewife and she has been hairy impairment since childhood. On weekends, Miss Farida will do outdoor activities. Usually, in the morning, she would go to a public park near her house for a jogging and do a exercise. This is a therapy to help Miss Farida to adapt a healthy lifestyle and always be enthusiastic in carrying out daily routine. She like to do this activity because she can keep her body healthy and always fit as she also suffer from diabetes and high blood pressure. Therefore, Miss Farida should take medicine according to the prescribed time and take care of nutrition. Besides, other activities she is doing are planting trees. In the morning, Miss Farida will water the trees in her yard. This activity is one of her hobbies during her free time. Planting trees is an activity she loves to do. This is because, apart from decorating the area or environment, plants can also shake up the atmosphere and make it feel happy. In conclusion, we must respect and help these disabled and special people because they are rich human beings. Therefore, we need to give them love and focus so that they are not silent. That's all from our group. Thank you.